Hi, I'm Rachel Hughes. I'm in grade nine at Oak Bay High, and we're doing Aboriginal poetry in English right now. I'm about to show you six of my own poems. Enjoy. Flying free. My wings were stuck. I had lost almost all feathers, caged. I hid my beak behind my wings, battered, poked, pricked, prodded, trying to hide, trying to fly with all eyes on me. Consequence, the cage door was open. Hope held my heart, freedom pet my wings. I jumped and flew. I flew and was free. This is a simple poem. This poem symbolizes the pain and torture caused by residential schools and what it feels like to have escaped. The drum, hearts beating against the rhythm of the drum, blood pulsing, voices singing, the crackling fire and the souls of our ancestors swirling around us, bare feet pressed against the earth's soil. We all live together. The drum, playing the rhythm of our people, we, souls belonging to the earth. Love those around you, but learn to love yourself. Learn to be respected. Respect those near you, but respect yourself too, to learn to be loved. This poem shows a form of a Diamante poem. This poem showcases the two grandfather teachings of respect and love. These hands. These hands caress the idea of freedom. These hands feel the soil of the once free land. These hands were strong. These hands held the hands of people with idea and originality. But hands were broken along with the good spirits and the pride of those who came. These hands held joy but now are broken and are bleeding out. It's not fair, but it's what the hands have done. Simple life. So still time could have stopped. Only a gentle breeze that collides with the clouds. The ocean melting against the rigid rocks and softly weaving through itself. Speckled boulders stood planted on a striking hill, hiding great adventures and stories. Flowers dancing in long, thin grass, the sun crest its soil. A whimsical tapestry, exciting but normal, intricate but plain. Everything living but barely being noticed. In this poem, I used many different types of personification to really make the words stand out and to create a picture in your head. Thanks so much for listening to my poems and project. I would like to thank Miss Watson, Starla Anderson, and Alex Nelson. Thank you to Miss Watson for showing us this project. And thank you to Starla Anderson and Alex Nelson for teaching us about Aboriginal culture and history.